So you want to create a backup in Windows 7. Okay, how do you do it? Well, first, let me show you why I'm backing this up. So this PC has all the Windows updates in there. So if I show you. Ah, there they are. So I get 92 Windows updates in here. And all of these have installed. I don't want to format my computer and lose all of these because it takes such a long time to put them back. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a system image that is essentially going to capture all of those. So how do you create a system image under Windows 7? Start, control panel, back up your computer, or you can go into system and security to do it. If we go there and we go edit, back up and restore, click that. And then it, you got these options here, create a system image or create a system report, restored, or create a system repair disk. Let's create a system image first. Backup devices. At the moment it's not going to find any because this create a system image on a spare drive that I have. At the moment, there is no spare drive here, there's only the C drive, and you can see it's like 60% full. What I can do is I can add an additional drive to, to show you how it works. Uh, you can also bring it to DVDs as well, or you can save it to a network location, but I don't have a uh, network set up on this, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to attach a drive, and then I'll come back to this. Okay. Now that I've attached the extra drive, I can use the system backup. The reason why Windows wants another drive is because there's no point putting a restore petition on the same drive. However, this does get used by companies such as Dell and Lenovo. They create a hidden restore petition that you can activate and it restores your PC back to factory. The problem is, if you lose a drive, such as if I lose the C drive, like physically take the drive out, I've lost my recovery. So it's always useful to save it to a separate disk. But how do we know this is a separate disk and I haven't just created a second petition? That's actually a very good question, and a way to do it, and you can do it straight from here. Go to my computer, go to manage. And this actually shows you if the if the, these drives are actually two physical drives. Go to disk management. And as you can see, disk zero is got a system reserved on it, but it's only 100 megabytes. Then my C drive and disk one has this VM disk, which is a separate drive. If it was partitioned, so you had a hidden partition or even a, a an extra petition, it would be looking very similar to this. Anyway, now that we know that's done, I can create this, the system image. So again, go to control panel, system security, backup and restore, create system image. Or you can just do control panel, system security, backup and restore directly from the address bar up here. But let's create a system image and I'll show you how this works. A system image is a copy of the drives required for Windows to run. It can also include additional drives. A system image can be used to restore your computer if your hard drive or computer ever stops working. However, you can't choose individual items to restore. So yeah, this captures the entire C drive and then reapplies it. So it's not selective, such as um, uh, certain backup programs, but it is very useful. So it detects the other drive here, 60 gig left. So if I go next, it's going to tell me it's doing uh, C and the system drive, which is actually disk zero. If I had another drive here, it would give me the choice of which one to save. I'll start backup, and it just does the backup. And it should be quick, pretty quick, because the backup is quite small. So let's wait until that's finished, and I'll show you what the next step is. Okay, so that's finished. That took a while, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, now it's asking you to create a system repair disk. A system repair disk can be used to boot your computer. It also contains Windows system recovery tools, which can help you recover Windows from a serious error or re-image your computer from a system image.
So it's basically the apply tool. Uh, let's have a look. Let's click yes. Um, system image cannot be recreated. This is why uh, the reason why this is because under Windows 7 you can only create a system repair disk if you insert a DVD or a CD. I think it'll work on as well, but uh, yeah, a CD DVD burner. So I can't do that. But what I can do is because I installed uh, Windows 7 from a disk and I've already got it here. Optical drives, it, it's actually already here. I can actually do, I can load into the installation uh, source and launch it from there. Anyway, that's done. Let's go to the disk. Let's have a look. It saves in a folder called Windows Image Backup. Click continue. Test PC. Yes. Backup. Yes, and these two files are actually my image files. These can be used in VirtualBox itself because they are saved as VHD files. So, they, so there's a virtual disk. To prove that it works, I'm going to make a couple of changes. Let's change our screen resolution first. Uh, let's change your I don't know. Put some gadgets in here. CPU meter, everyone likes a CPU meter. I don't think that, yeah, 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 that works. These gadgets have actually been removed, or they should be removed, because um, they're a major security risk. And I don't think that's working. Yeah, yeah, that's working, okay. Um, what else do I need to personalize? Oh, oh let's change it to characters. So I've got, I've got all that there. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to restart this, but launch the installation DVD to actually reapply the image. Forget the fact that it's VirtualBox, um, but you can, if you can launch into an image, uh, sorry, if you can launch into a source DVD or, or, or the installation source, you can do this. Okay, so now this is the installation source, and it looks very similar to when you install it, which is actually identical. You select where you are. Don't think, don't click install now. Whatever you do, because it'll install over what you just was using. Go down here, repair your computer. When you click here, it'll find the Windows installation. This does work uh, if you're using a Windows Seven based disk. It'll work when it's uh, Vista, it'll work when it's 8, it'll work when it's 10, so it is forward and backward compatible. And even if you, even if he doesn't find it, uh, you can use recovery tools anyway. So if you go next, you have all these options, startup, repair, system restore, system image recovery, memory diagnostic, and command prompt. System restore is a bit naff, really. Um, it, it's um, a very small update that get done, it's generally when you install a program or something like that. System image recovery is the is the thing that you want. That will see the disk, it sees where it is, it sees the date and time, and it sees the uh, PC that it was meant for. So, and you can select which ones you want. So what that'll do, that will apply the image to the PC. So I've changed a few things. What also happens is you can do that when you completely uh, get rid of the PC. So, I'm going to do something a bit different here, and I'm going to format my C drive. But I got to make sure which one my C drive is. Uh, so it's disk zero. So if I do select disk zero, and I do clean, so it's actually completely clean at the minute. So if I restart this now. Uh, and I purposely pointed to the hard drive, non bootable media found system halted because I've completely destroyed my operating system. Let's boot into the CD and I'll show you how to apply, uh, apply Windows to a blank, uh, what would be essentially a blank hard drive. I had to make sure which, com uh, which one I used it on because if I did it on the wrong one, I would have erase the drive that my backup was on, which is no good. So as you can see, it can't find Windows. So if we go next, it doesn't matter. 
it's system image backup is already found there. So yes, I want to apply it. Thank you very much. Go to see screen disks. Ah, oh, right. so it's only detecting. Yeah, it's detect detecting that. So that's the one I want to put it to. Go into next. Finish. I just follow. Just follow the wizard. It it tells you here that all, uh, everything will be uh, formatted and be petitioned. It doesn't matter because that's what I want to do. It should be now restore my C drive to as it was, and I shouldn't have any problems. Let's see how this works. Looks like that is that is successful. Okay, so what I can do? Uh, let's not restart that for a minute. I want to see if it works on its own, so I'm going to shut. I'm going to restart it, but I'm going to take out the installation disk and take out the other hard drive and see if it works. So be with me. Once I do all that, so I need to shut you down. Okay. This is moment of truth. Will it work? Oh, that's a good sign. That is a good sign. Let's see if it actually finishes it. Windows 7 Ultimate, welcome, should have, yes, there it is, um, which is, it's actually, that is great news, so that means that you can completely replace your drive, and you can, you can install a new image to the drive, which I knew anyway, but some of these backup solutions create a, create a hard drive petition. So let's try that process under Windows 10, and see if it's the same. Okay, so this is Windows 10, and uh, let's see, start, ah, oh, I forgot you can't access control panel, oh, you can, but you have to find it, so you have to type it in control panel, let's see if it lives in the same place, system and security, uh, back and restore Windows 7, cool, so this actually uses the same, same program as the Windows 7 does, uh, but let's have a look, let's see if the system repair disk only works, even under 10, it still needs a CD and DVD burner. You think you, you're able to create an ISO, but you can download ISOs from Microsoft's website, so uh, I don't suppose that matters. Let's have a look. It would be the same process, so on a hard disk, um, it should find the file. This would be interesting because I can have two captures, and I wonder if you'll know the difference. How how does it do the difference? Because I'm naming them the same, am I? Right, there is a disadvantage with this. It uses the PC name as a as an identifier. So if I try to capture this test, uh, let's try it. See what happens. So I know that the later one is the Windows 10. Uh, I lost it. So you actually actually have to type in Control Panel, or you can use your backup. Let's backup and restore. No, it, you can't actually see it. Uh, fine. Let's load it into Control Panel and do it from there. Uh, back and restore Windows 7. Create a system image. Yep. Uh, next, start backup. And it's starting that. Let's let's see. Oh, uh, before before we go, um, I will say something that Windows 7 has a bit of an issue, where it will not work on drives that are three terabytes in size. I think it's the way it just saves the formatting. Whereas Windows 10 doesn't have that limitation, and I think it's because it uses a different file format. It's still virtual hard drives, but it uses VH VHDX, whereas the Windows 7 version uses VHD. But um, this is actually a good test because we will see that if you create a multiple images of different PCs, but you store them in the same place. Will it actually tell you the difference?
We're about to find out. That was surprisingly quick. Wow. Um, okay. So what am I doing now? Um, okay, so that's what I'm doing. I am going to launch into the recovery side of Windows 10. And I think... I might try the Windows 7 as well, just, just to see that it works. But let's let's do uh, restart and then launch into it and, and see see how it ha see how how it works. Go into the CD. Uh, it's a sixty four bit OS, so let's launch into that. Same thing with the Windows Ten is you don't install; you go to recover my computer. It's it's the same thing on the ten disk, but it's. Um, it, it just labels slightly differently. So let's go next. Don't do install now. Repair your computer. Let's see where it takes us. Uh, troubleshoot system. Actually, that's a lot easier than it is on 7. System image recovery. Let's have a look. Target operating system, Windows 10. Scan for disks. Oh, right. So it did use a, um, it did give a unique name. And these are the two images that it sees. Test PC being the Windows 7 and desktop being the Windows 10. I could apply the test PC to this, even though I say it's a Windows 10 system backup and it's using the Windows 10 um, uh, defaults and the virtual box. They're very much similar. So I could do either one, but for, for the purpose of verification, I will apply 10 back to this. But before I do that, let's open up uh, Command Prompt and I clean the drive. Um, just that. This disk. So my disk 0 is my, uh, is my drive. If I do this volume, you can see that C drive is system reserved and which the E drive, according to this, is my OS, but it's disk zero I'm going to clean. So if I select disk zero and I do clean, and then I run this volume, it's actually lost volumes one and two because it's not formatted. So that's right. Go into troubleshoot, go into system image recovery. It's found that just to prove a point that I can select it, go into here. Uh, Select the drive I want in the backup. Set it up your exclusive disks. It doesn't matter because it's the only one. Is that right? Yeah. Um, because I'm getting the image from the other drive, it won't appear here because it can't apply to the same drive it's picking the image on. Ah, it says right here. Uh, the disk, virtual box hard disk, disk one is already excluded as it contains the system image to be restored. So it will format the repetition the disks. Go to finish. Before I do that, I shall prove to you that I can't actually boot to that uh, uh, hard disk one, no bootable medium found. That's fine, that's exactly what I was expecting. Again, click next, don't do install, go to repair your computer, go into troubleshoot, go into system image recovery, select the image you want, as I know this is the Windows 7 one, that's why Windows 10, click the volume you want, go next, go next, uh, tells you it's going to be formatted, and let's see it working, and let's see how quick it's going to be. Again, I'll do the same thing that I did with 7. I won't restart, but I will take out the the other things. So this is launching into Windows 7 after an image has been created, uh, after an image has been applied. So there's no other drives in here, there's no other CDs. It is just the image that I applied. And it actually works really well. Um, I've been using it for years, but people are surprised, thinking, oh, why are you using that? It's a Microsoft product. It, it, it's, got, it's not going to work. Well, clearly it is. 
there are some limitations as I said earlier uh, Windows 7 won't work with 3 terabyte drives that's because it wasn't designed to uh, 10 will work with those drives perfectly fine and since 10 is really the operating system of choice these days it's it, it's what you want um, can you do it to other drives as well so if I had an another drive in here uh, yes you could save multiple drives but generally I have another solution to to other uh, to do data drives, but I can share that with you later. Anyway, I hope you find this interesting because it was interesting for me to do. And oh, I didn't know that was it. <laughs> and um, I shall see you later. Goodbye.